the biggest problem with with these uh, jets is the fact that when it's an EDF, um, it's hard to balance because the um, uh, enough weight at the back with the EDF and with the pusher um, motor being right out here on the back um, it tends to be tail heavy so it's, uh, and we're using a lot smaller um, battery um, so it's difficult we need to get the, the battery a lot further forward so it's, it's a little bit of a balancing act as to where things go now I guess we've got a little bit more weight here to be added with uh, the with hatch on the back. We've got uh, the push rods to go on there. Uh, we'll add a little bit more weight to the back. But I'm still thinking that this is going to have to go back in here somewhere for this particular one. And in fact, maybe I have to rethink. Have a rethink on the uh, on the next one. Mm, on the plans. The EDF can't sit in this bottom section, or it could, and a lot of people do. Um, sit the EDF. I could actually sit the EDF um, in the bottom section about here, just under the centre of gravity, um, and then just feed the wires through the bottom, and it would actually be sitting in the airflow, but shouldn't restrict the airflow. So that might be a a good alternative, I think. Um, so, what we may have to do is cut a, another little hatch there. To, um, to be able to get the EDF in place. Okay. <coughs> Why not? There's our centre of gravity. There's the end of the. Cut it on an angle, angle inwards, um, so that when I've had it up, I can simply put it back on and put some packaging tape around it to hold it in. Front, so we know which way it goes when you go back. 
I would say if I'm fairly careful, I can just I can either glue that back in, um, or I can tape it on. Um, I will tape it on to start with in case I need to get to it. Uh, but now we've got the airflow through through the front ducts through here, and behind the centre section we can sit the EDF there. Uh, it will be in the airflow, it will cool it down nicely and it shouldn't restrict the airflow. We'll just have to put a bit of an extension on the, um, on the two wires there. To, so we can sit it there and feed the wires through. So what I'll do, I'll turn the camera off extend these wires okay here we are again <clears throat> I've made a, an extension um, for the ESC so I'm simply going to plug that in and then run the lead through there I've made a hole through Through there, I've made a hole through there to to bring the uh, lead from the the three leads from the um, from the fan through to here, and then a hole through there into the top section there where I'm going to feed the that's where I'm at. <coughs> fix the just tape the that wire to it as well and feed the hole through. Do it together. I did think about lengthening the uh, wires, but I thought oh, it was just as easy to make a, an extension and then I can use the extension again or if I need to use the ESC again without the extension. this off and then what I'll do I'll put some uh, velcro on there <coughs> piece of velcro And that should get some nice cooling in there to be obstructing that. So there's the ESC in the little hole there, and then I'll just simply put it back on there. <coughs> okay, we've now got a plug coming out the front. The other two plugs we've got are the ailerons and the uh, elevators, so we're all ready to go. I'll, um, I'll play with the hatch off camera, um, decide which way I'm going to go, I think. Uh, and then uh, come back and we're almost uh, we're, it's 
Excuse me, we're almost ready for the maiden. For the maiden. Let's just weigh it and see what our weight is. I'm guessing it's going to be around about somewhere between 900 grams to 1 kilogram. <coughs> so. That's 7.30 without the battery. Presuming I can use a 2200, whoops, a 2200 battery. Um, I'll pop it in there. That's mm, 960, which is a roundabout. 970 and the tail plane on that. 9.95. It's around about where I thought it would be. Um, I was hoping to come in about 900 grams, but uh, it looks like it's been. Uh, it's going to be nearer a thousand with a bit of paint, and but it's got quite a large wing area, um, so it should be okay. Okay, we'll leave it at that for now.